As of yesterday, Anycubic just came out with a brand new printer. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I've been using the Viper for a really long time, but they outdid themselves. They came out with a direct drive printer. This is the first direct drive printer they have. I've been using this for months now, testing it out for you guys. It works perfectly for printing out airplane parts. Anycubic actually has really good videos that show you guys how to assemble this. And there's also an instruction manual that it comes with that is very easy to follow. So you guys can put this together. Assembly process is very basic. It's basically like every other printer, just a couple parts to attach, attach some wires, make sure to switch over from 230 to 115 volts. Uh, so that you have to adjust the rollers on both the extruder and the bed, just like you just saw there. Once you have it set up, there's these red knobs here that you can adjust all the settings, adjust the tension on the filament here, adjust the belt on the lower uh, bed, and adjust the belt up here. Once you have it all set up, it does have auto leveling, which works amazing. If this is your first printer, if you guys are brand new into 3D printing, leveling is the hardest part. And so uh, just being able to push one button and level the bed works perfectly. After you go through the leveling process, you need to go to the menu and set the Z offset. Here's a good diagram to show you how the filament should be coming out of the extruder to the bed. So just go ahead and set the Z offset. The bed is the same design as the Viper where it just springs off of the build plate and then you just flex the plate and the part just pops right off. Makes it really good for printing airplane parts because it's usually thin wall construction all the way around and you don't want to be hitting it with a spatula and trying to pop the part off, it might break it. And then you just go ahead and spring it right back on there and it's ready for the next part. I received this printer a few months ago to test out for you guys and it has been working amazing. Here's some lightweight PLA that I'm printing out for my next build. Make sure to check out my channel to see all the next builds I'm working on. I got some really cool stuff I'm working on. Uh, check out this rudder section that I printed out. There's a really uh, good overhang right here that it prints out really well. I mean, the retraction and priming settings that you use for a direct drive printer work so much better than Bowden style. It's so much more consistent. I highly recommend you guys getting a direct drive printer. This printer works amazing. I'll be using it a whole bunch more on my channel. So they actually came out with two models. There's the Cobra and the Cobra Max. I would recommend the Cobra because it's direct drive. Now the reason why a direct drive printer is so much better for this hobby than Bowden tube is just because the filament goes directly into the drive motor and then it goes right out into the extruder. So there's less moving parts between the actual filament and the actual hot end of the, of the nozzle. So it allows there to be way less variations uh, when you're retracting and priming and there's way less sub extrusion problems. Whereas with a Bowden tube, there's just this long tube and there's so much length from where the actual driver filament goes to the actual hot end. So that's why I would recommend the Cobra. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe to my channel and I got some really cool airplanes I'm working on building that I've been using this to print it with. So you guys will see a lot more of this on my channel. And I definitely recommend getting one of these if you guys are trying to get into 3D printing airplanes. And we'll see you guys in the next build video.